Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It has been so long. It has been a hot minute since I have posted a YouTube video. It's actually been a month and I'm so excited to be back and filming again. I really wanna start posting YouTube videos more and I've been reading through my DMs on Instagram and a lot of you want me to start posting again and I'm just so, so excited to be back. And I hope you guys have been well. It has been a month and I'm just really, really pumped and I feel really inspired to start creating YouTube content again. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me and being patient through my little YouTube break. And I actually have something really exciting to share with you guys today that has been so highly requested and personally I've been really excited about. It's the new Florence by Mills. This is a makeup and skincare line created by Millie Bobby Brown. And if you guys watch Stranger Things, you know exactly who I'm talking about. She is 15 years old, she's so talented, and she just launched her own beauty line. And it's clean beauty, it's also cruelty free, it's vegan, and it's dermatologist tested. And a lot of these products are actually centered around and targeted towards teens, kind of like teenage skin. So I wish I had a line like this when I was in high school, so I think this is really cool. And I'm gonna be testing everything out today, you guys. Some Sometimes you guys comment my videos, and it's not like every video, but it's sometimes, you tell me that I look like Eleven, I look like Millie, and I'm just here to say that I wore these buns inspired by her for this tutorial. And Millie, if you're watching this, Netflix, you know, Millie, have your people call my people. We can do Stranger Things 20. I can play the older version of you. I'm here, I'm ready for my close up. So let's jump into the products. The first thing I'm gonna try is a skincare line and she does have makeup that's gonna come a little later. There's actually three different washes to start with. So we have three here, and I just wanna say I love the packaging. I think the color is really unique. This lavender shade is so, so pretty. I haven't seen any other brands with this color, and when I see it, I just think Florence. Like, that's Millie right there. Just the branding overall, I think the branding is so cute. So the first cleanser we're gonna talk about is the Magic Micellar Cleansing Gel. I actually used this on my Instagram video where I was trying out this line for the first time. And this took off my mascara, my foundation, my concealer, my lipstick, my brows. I had on wing liner and it took it all off and I needed no makeup remover, no makeup wipes. It's almost like a combination of a cleansing oil and just a cleanser mix. So it has like this clear color to it and it's very gel-like, so it feels pretty hydrating when you apply it. So I actually used the Clean Magic Face Wash today, this morning, and I tried it for the first time and it's a very milky kind of face wash. It does have like a cucumber scent to it. If I had to choose between these two, I would definitely go with the Clean Magic Face Wash because you could use this as a makeup remover alone or you could use it as a cleanser. But my favorite one is the Get That Grime Face scrub and this one's actually pretty powerful I have the Kylie skin walnut scrub and compared to that one this one is actually a little bit more intense for me but this is really eco-friendly it doesn't have any micro beads in it it says on the back that you massage this onto wet skin in circular motions and then you just rinse thoroughly you can use it two to three times a week that's about as many times as I use a scrub I like using scrubs multiple times during the week to keep my skin really, really smooth. So I'm just gonna wet my face really quickly. This is the Evian Natural Mineral Water. So you can actually use this throughout the day. It won't ruin your makeup and you can also use it how I'm using it to wash my face. If you're on the go, this is the way to go. Give it a nice shake. I'm running low on it, but I have about <laughs> six other bottles of it. So now that we're looking like the Dolan twins are around somewhere, so I'm gonna take about this much. And it does say on the top of the packaging that it's cucumber scented. So you are gonna smell that and it does have like this light green color. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it and then work it into my skin. And it just feels really, really smooth after. And one thing I noticed like a lot, which you guys will probably notice in a second, is it brightened my face. So it really does get off like any makeup or if you have like kind of a dullness to your skin, I feel like it makes it really nice and bright. And I always like to work in scrubs like around my chin and then also right here. Let me know if you guys like these skincare videos because if you do, I can post them more here on YouTube. I really have been loving skincare and it's just really inspired me to use it all the time. Constantly I'm trying products, so if you guys wanna see more of those videos, let me know. So a lot of you asked me on my Instagram 
what are the round things I'm using and they look like this. This is a makeup eraser and I love these so much. This is the Color Riot kit. Um, you guys can use my code Victoria Lynn if you do want to shop makeup eraser. They are so, so much better than using makeup wipes. They're really gentle on your skin and you can remove all of your skincare with it. Also, makeup alone can be removed with this if you dip it in water. Now we'll just go ahead and remove the scrub. So this is how my skin is looking after the scrub and I just love how brightening it is. It makes my skin feel so smooth. I feel no dead skin on my face. You can notice it's a little bit red. That's because the scrub is a tiny bit abrasive than most of the scrubs that I use, but I really, really like it. So the next product we're gonna be using is the One Swipe Glow Wipe Treatment Pads which I think is so nice that she included this in this line because those of you who do have breakouts and acne, this is something you should be using daily. So it's kind of like a toner wipe. I get tiny little bumps, usually in this area of my face, and they're little milia bumps. They're really hard to get rid of, but if you use a toner or like a treatment pad, it helps so much prevent those and also get rid of them. The treatment pads come in this little container. It does have a little scooper, but you really don't need it. When you smell these products, you can really smell the witch hazel in them. This has witch hazel, so does the mask. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. And after I cleanse is usually when I do like a toner or a treatment pad like this. And I just wipe it all over the perimeter of my face. And we're gonna be doing a mask next. So you wanna make sure that you do this before you do a mask because the mask is gonna really sink into your skin and you just wanna get any makeup or dead skin or any of those impurities off before you do a mask. I had no makeup on when I started this video, you guys, not anything. And I just used this treatment pad and it took so much dirt and leftover makeup from probably yesterday off of my skin because this pad actually got a little bit darker. Eye gels are something I use every single day if I can because I do suffer from getting a lot of bags under my eyes, specifically really deep lines right here. I'm not the best water drinker. I never get enough sleep, so I always need to put on eye pads and they have helped my under eyes so much. They're actually like my holy grail skincare products. So Millie launched these swimming under the eyes gel pads and these are actually in the shape of whales. They're so cute. Millie really likes whales, which I think is pretty cool. So it does come with a little scooper and you can just scoop out the eye gels. So I'm gonna put them on how I saw Millie put them on, which is like this. And every time I put my eye patches on like this, a lot of people tell me I'm putting them on wrong. I put my under eye patches like this all the time because like I said, my deep lines are out here. They're not like so much in here. So if you do have more of that inside, you can flip this the other way or you can flip it this way. The way these hydrogel patches are made, you could literally put these all over your face if you wanted to because they're like a hydrogel mask. So I just flip them and I just lay them flat like that. This is the Mind Glowing Peel Off Mask and this has Witch Hazel and Lavender. It smells amazing. I know Witch Hazel isn't everybody's favorite scent. Maybe it's yours, maybe it's not, but I love it. It smells like I am at a spa. Look at that super pretty purple color. I'm in love. A lot of you ask me, how do I get my mask to peel off in one piece? The key is you wanna make sure your layer that you're applying is even. So I'm just gonna go and do a really even layer of this. And speaking of peel off masks, a lot of drugstore peel off masks that aren't like a high end brand or they're not like a very well known brand, they can be really painful on your skin. So you need to be careful, you guys. I've used a few of them and almost every single one of them that I've used that is from the drugstore or that is a really affordable brand, they really hurt. I mean, eyes stinging, super painful. One of you guys asked me if this mask is easy to peel off and it is super easy to peel off. It doesn't hurt, it's not painful, and it feels really, really good on the skin. It doesn't like burn or anything. It's actually really soothing. Putting on a face mask, especially a peel off mask, it just brings me peace. I love just applying face masks. You guys will see how bright my face will look after this. It's insane. All right, so we have our mask on and for this mask, it says to leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes. And I leave it on for about 30 minutes because peel off masks, for the most part, they take a really long time to dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my little timer and we're gonna do 30 minutes. So now we are ready to take this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the eye patches first. 
literally so satisfying to peel off. So next we have the Look Alive Eye Balm. And I really like the packaging of this. It's actually really high end looking because it has a metal tip to it. So this is really good for depuffing under the eyes because it feels really cooling. It says you could use this in the morning, but of course I think you should be using eye cream in the morning and at night if you can. It does make a huge difference if you can do that. So I'm just gonna do three dots. It feels super light. Just so you guys know, I always like to do a little comparison sometimes in my videos, and I do have the Kylie eye cream. And how it compares to the Florence is the Kylie one is actually a lot thicker, and it does have more of a yellow tone to it, so it kind of brightens a little bit under your eyes. This one soaks in super quickly, and it doesn't leave any added shine or any kind of glow under the eyes. It's pretty matte looking for the most part. Unfortunately, I could not get the Dreamy Dew Moisturizer. It was sold out the day that all of these Florence products launched and it is still sold out right now on Ulta Beauty. So I'm gonna have to wait until it launches in store and I'll probably end up picking it up. But I do have some other recommendations for you guys that are very similar to the Florence line. So we have Sugar Rush. Sugar Rush is actually a sister brand of Tarte Cosmetics and they cater to a lot of like teenage skin and they just have really cute, simple, easy makeup and skincare. And this is the Don't Hate Hydrate Oil Free Moisturizer. This is a little mini. I wanted to try it out and I ended up really liking it. So this is a good moisturizer to pick up. Then we have the e.l.f. moisturizer. This is the Super Hydrate and how similar does it look? to Florence, it's like the same color and everything. But I'm gonna be using the Sugar Rush one today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and it smells amazing. I love the smell of it. The last product in our skincare routine is the Zero Chill Face Mist. And I actually really love this product. It might be my favorite thing from this whole entire line, just because you could use this throughout the entire day. You can do before makeup, after makeup, after skincare, pop this in your bag during the day just to kind of boost your skin up, add a little hydration. And it smells so good. Okay, let's just keep going with that. Yes. So not only did Millie launch skincare with Florence, but she also has makeup as a part of this entire line. So we actually have four products here. I forgot to pick up one thing, which is the lip gloss, but instead we're gonna be using the lip oil. This is gonna be the most natural look you have probably ever seen me wear. So the first thing I wanna start with is the Like a Light Skin Tint. Yes, it is called Like a Light Skin Tint because that's what it's supposed to be. And I got the shade LO30. So let's hope this matches me, but it is in this really cute packaging. It says apply one to two pumps and blend with fingertips. I'm just gonna use my fingers because these products look really simple and easy to use and I don't wanna really overthink it or use too many other products with it. It's supposed to be really simple and easy. So let's keep it that way. Here's a look at the packaging. It's like in this little squeezy tube and it does have a pump. I'm gonna go ahead and pump it out. We'll do two pumps first and we'll blend it in. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on my forehead and I'm just gonna put a little bit extra right on the areas that I have. Some breakouts going on like right here. Man, this can really spread out like a lot. And I feel like because um, it is like a light skin tint, like what the name is. It blends into the skin pretty easily. So if you don't have your exact color, I feel like you can make it work really well because it's not a super like full coverage foundation where it has to be like the perfect match. Okay, so that is the skin tint. You can still see my skin poking through. I can still see my skin just completely. It doesn't really cover anything too crazy. And it's a very, very light. Now I'm gonna be using the See You Never Concealer and I got this in LO55. So it also has this cooling metal tip, which is super nice. I'm loving all of these eye products. We're gonna see how far this concealer takes us. Let's, let's go ahead and utilize that metal tip, shall we? And I'm just gonna take a little bit extra, see if we can cover up some things here. I 
This concealer blends out really easily. I'm just kind of tapping it in with my finger and it's warming it up. And it does have a pretty good coverage to it. This is like really easy to use. Those of you who are in high school right now, I'm not sure what your makeup routine is, but these two products were really easy to just throw on. Before school, this would be super quick to do. Cover up a little blemishes here and there, a little dark circles, and you're good. This is the Cheek Me Later Cream Blush, and it's in Glowing G. I wasn't even sure what color I should get, so let's hope this looks good. Here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna go in, go for it. So all you have to do is just kind of press it in and it just kind of blends. It doesn't make anything weird. It almost has a little bit of a gloss to it. That's the blush, really simple, easy to use. I actually do like this color. It's not too red. It's kind of like a berry color, so I like it. This is the Tint and Tame Brow Gel and I got it in the shade Dark Brown. So here's what it looks like. It has this brush inside. It's a super thin brush. So we're just gonna comb it through. I do not have super thick brows. My brows are actually pretty thin and I normally always use like a brow pencil, but if this can do all the work for me, then we're good. This could be my new quick, easy brow routine. You wanna make sure you wipe off any excess. When I'm doing like a natural look, I like to do a really feathery kind of brow because my brows are pretty thin. And this is kind of necessary because I just made a mess. I'm gonna use my concealer brush to just kind of go around the edges of my brow. It's just gonna clean up any of that brow gel. I like the way it looks, it's really natural. It just kind of defines your brow. And I don't think any of this makeup is meant to make you look perfect or perfectly done or full coverage or sculpted. It's supposed to be really easy, natural, youthful, and just kind of bring out your inner beauty and the beauty that you already have. So Millie did not release any mascara in this line. So I'm actually just gonna go in with some mascara really quickly. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang. This is my favorite mascara that is out there. It's so good. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara. I hope she does come out with mascara though because mascara is like a must for me. So now I'm gonna do the Glow Yeah Lip Oil and this is actually really moisturizing on your lips. It feels like an oil straight up. It's an oil and it has this pink color to it. So it's really pretty and you don't need a lot of it. It's really glossy. All right, you guys, this is the final look using Florence by Millie Bobby Brown. If I wanna do a natural look, I would totally go for these products because they're so simple and easy. I think the price range for everything is really good too. It's not super high end or luxury and it's not drugstore either. It kind of falls right in the middle. So it's from like 10 to $30. I feel like all of these products are really affordable. A lot of you can get your hands on them. They're gonna be in Ulta, so they're accessible to a lot of you. If you're in high school, this is a great line to start with. Um, this is awesome for boys and girls out there who wanna get into skincare, but you don't know where to start. There are so many things out there. It can be really confusing, but this line actually is really complete. And you have the essentials to do a skincare routine morning and night with this brand. Even if you're not in high school, I feel like you would like this brand too, because I'm not in high school and I really like it and I made my mom try it and my mom is really like, when it comes to skincare, she's brutally honest. She will tell me if she doesn't like something and she told me she really liked this and she's gonna get a few things. So she likes it too. So I feel like it's for everyone and I just, I loved it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and this was so requested by you guys. So I really do hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Give this video a like. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me and leave a comment down below if you are loving these skincare videos. And I'll make sure to film more for my channel for you guys because I am loving the skincare right now. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next tutorial.